more, okay? Um... Covered all this? Okay, it's time for Baldy. It's your maiden calling. I'll hide the dead body in the Baldy video. I heard that there's a... Well, it's the 25th. There's a dead body in the Baldy video in the end, yeah. Well, it's the 25th of February, about 3.30 in the afternoon, and apparently the Russian tanks are going to enter the centre at any moment. Myself and Johnny are going to head down to the railway station and uh, try and get ourselves out of the city somewhere safer. It's just so surreal to think that in another part of this city, People are being shot, run over with tanks, there's fighting. And yet here in the very centre, you'd have no idea. It's obviously Sorry much, much quieter than it usually is on a Friday, I think it is. But you'd never know that something was going on. Just, well, just what? What is a few this video, dude? This shit's literally age-restricted, dude. Russia's military camp. What the fuck is this? Ukraine Nazism? Denazification, bandervets, residential area artillery, and guns for everyone? What the fuck? What, what is this video that you're sending me that's like fucking literally age restricted? I'm, I'm, I'm not watching that video, dude. I don't know what the fuck's going on in that video, but I'm literally, I'm scared, okay? Probably has some truth in it. Half of us here are 18, don't worry. No, dude. It's not that fucking people are underage. I mean, like... X watched it. There is 0% chance XQC watched a video by Graham Phillips titled Ukraine, Nazism, Denazification, Bandrovets, Residential Area Artillery, and Guns for Everyone. That is 18 plus. Wait, he did? No, X watched the bald video. Oh, dude, yeah. Hopefully, the metro is still running. We actually have no idea. Let's see. He watched this video, and I will watch it as well. Not the other one, dude. You should be your own scare tactics. Работает сегодня метро, да? Хорошо. Бесплатный, да? Are you fucking kidding me? The metro's so working? It's free. Um, just so I suppose help people move across to the city or to leave the city if they need. These motherfuckers have better public transportation during Blue an mind. active invasion, Yellow dude. Mind. I'm losing my mind. Where are we? Yeah. So hopefully we can actually get out of Kiev now. I took Johnny's rational advice to uh, try and get out of the city today before it's too late because if you don't leave today once the tanks get here who knows what happens to transport links the airport's already bombed um who knows happens to railway routes bus routes roads so um, yeah. yeah i think it's a case of either we leave today or we wouldn't be leaving for a long long time so anyway let's get to the railway station and see if we can get on the train i'm sure there's many people there trying to get out of the city so Hopefully. By the way, the reason why this is like a fucking 60 second escalator uh, ride is because they purposely built these fucking incredible metro stations super far underground uh, because they would double as nuclear uh, shelters. Um, yeah, there's places for everybody. I mean, Soviet engineering was pretty fucking pog, uh, especially like civil engineering, city and en uh, city designs. Uh, their metro stations are legendary, uh, both in both in Russia go. and Ukraine and everywhere else. Like, it's so sick. It's so fucking sick. Sorry, I just have a big boner for infrastructure. You know this. Yeah. This may be the last train out of Kiev. Yeah. They're yeah. beautiful, too. Quite possibly. 
Very, very beautiful. There are just people down here with their suitcases and their luggage, obviously. Got the same idea as me and Johnny, which is to somehow get out of here, or some people will be sheltering from the inevitable bombings. I suppose that's going to come at some point. Come on, bro. They got the trains running on time. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Yo, shit's being bombed right now. That's crazy. During a purge. That's fucking bananas, dude. I scrolled through and there's a dead body in the video. The person was linking to you. Permit. Nice. Oh, the, the, uh, the 18 plus video. I'm not gonna show the dead body. I know. I am. Uh, oh, I am aware. To see children with their parents just hanging around. Terrible. <laughs> what do you reckon, Johnny? Just go into the ticket office and see. Try and find some information. Wow, just the queues. Check it out. Oh, Lviv, Lviv, Lviv. Mahmoud Lviv. Right there. This is really hard to know which train is going, which one is coming. If we need a ticket, if we don't need a ticket. Is it just a little bit of a letter? Is it a letter? Is it a letter? Is it a letter? Is it a letter? There's a train leaving in half an hour down to the Romanian border. So we're going to see if we can't get on it. Track 5 up here. Vinica. Piatti, 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 Piatti. Piatti, Piatti. Moondog. Wow. Look at it, it's like something from a war movie, 1939 or something. People trying to escape the city before the inevitable invasion. Wow, check it out. Hundreds and hundreds of people trying to get out of here. People with children, people with cats and dogs, babushkas. How terribly sad. He has a ticket. No, 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 we've asked. This guy has a ticket for sale, but only one. We've met a chap on the platform who's got one ticket and said he's going to speak to the Provodnitsa, the lady who looks after each compartment, to see if we can go with him. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Maybe we can just be in the corridor or we can sit in the toilet or something. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. But um, people seem in good spirits. There's no panic here. You know, Ukrainian people are very stoic. And um, yeah, there's no panic here. People scrambling to get in front of each other for the train. It's people are relaxed, but um, obviously nervous as well. Are we? Why did you Ukrainian. leave earlier? Because Johnson Slava. was just shouting everyone to leave. <laughs> I know, but why, why did you leave earlier? We just thought that we would stay, and I don't know that it wouldn't be possible to leave. We thought there were no trains, no buses. And then we said, OK, let's go and look at the railway station seat. And no vod, yes, proper. No me ni ajedal yet. Me do mixto ni chivo ni budi se vodi. Pani maes mi. Yesterday we were sure that if they come, it just that would be quiet. Right. But today, we see you realised. 
They're in Obolon now, apparently, fighting in Obolon. It will be hell. You think so? Terrible. Terrible. There are pl My history professor has been saying there are plenty of signs that Putin's turning into a dictator. Now? Like, he been. What do you mean, turning? Like, what? I don't understand. God. Uh, today, the Kiev mayor just distributed 20,000 items of Kalashnikov. They have lots of Germans here around. So oh, it's going to be a bloodbath. What? Yeah. As soon as those tanks come into the centre, people will just be on top of the buildings. So the air attack sirens are going off on the city. So everyone's coming under the roof just in case something comes down or something. Putin is very bad. Same in Ukraine. Some Ukrainian guy called its two newborn Doberman puppies Javelin and Bayraktar, this nation. The Prophet Nitsa um, is a real hero because she let so many people on with kids and women who didn't have tickets and was like, come on, get on. Um, so yeah, she deserves like some kind of medal or something in the future for what she did just then. Amazing people here in the Ukraine. Well done, man. Well done, mate. I'm shocked we, we made it on. We made it happy we did. See how this journey goes, though. Yeah. Bye bye, Kiev. And good luck. And now it lets me share the seven month haha. -ha. Well, I'm happy to give you my money at Hassanabai. It's been nice finding someone who actually shares a lot of similar views to me. A lot of folks you know, met the on the train a couple of legends <laughs> who were traveling. They don't know where they're going either. They just jumped on this train. They're like, okay, let's get out of Kiev. I think that was everyone's plan, basically, just escape. And now he's stolen my beer. <laughs> I'm gonna... me, man. Hey, come on. He said, are you Russian? <laughs> I said, no, but I speak crush. He said, well, give me your beer. <laughs> That's what happened. And now he's just drinking it, helping himself. Yeah, of course. Like a, lot, a, lot, a lot of people in Russia. Slay, so, I think. Because it's one madman, and maybe some team that's supporting him. But it's not the whole country. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of protests in, yeah, yeah, yeah. in Russia. That's but they don't want to also worry. the... Hmm? But people there are also controlled. So they hate him, but there's not much they can do. Yes, it's like in Belarus as well. With yeah. Lukashenko, absolutely the same. What do you do in this situation? Why all the world like this? They like we are supporting you, but they do nothing. Because if they involve themselves militarily, then it could really escalate and become like maybe even a bigger war. That's what people are afraid of. Yeah. That it becomes a European war, and then who knows? America gets involved. It's a world war. Yes, it's like. And so, unfortunately, we say like we support you, we support you, but really. We're not.
not willing to support you militarily. <laughs> I'm going to try some Ukrainian... Nalivka. Nalivka, which is alcohol, sweet alcohol. Not this. This is not this. That's just fuzzy drink. It's just fuzzy drink. It's a children's alcoholic drink. Yeah, children's alcoholic drink are so tough. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Try some Nalivka. 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 Yeah, Nalivka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's Nalivka. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> mm. Enjoy it. Come on, we're doing it's the like apple juice. juice. It's uh... <laughs> That's gonna be a good footage. You know, oh, I like it. <laughs> oh, I've been need, given need some Velo um, <laughs> nicotine, which is now on <laughs> She's trying to turn me into a nicotine Velo addict. But, um, Snooze. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah. What lovely yeah, people on the... It's only for 80 ages consumers. 80 ages? Uh, eight, eight, 18, 18, 18, sorry. Am I older or younger than 18? What do you think? Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's nicotine I, pouches. I one hour. Okay. <laughs> so I, I don't remember 18, it's old or 18. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, don't I, remember, I don't remember the difference because oh between 18. I think she's saying I'm 80. 80. Are you saying I'm 80? <laughs> God, I love trains so fucking much. Love you, Nessie. So sick. This is part of the other reason why I was saying, like, they're not fucking bombing. Uh, they're, the Russians are not um, destroying uh, infrastructure. Like, they're letting trains run still, you know what I mean? Like, they're not bombing all the fucking streets um, yet. Yet. Yummy cummies in my and that might be hassle. coming Yummy soon, which is really hassle. terrifying. In my tummy's hassle. It looks um, completely different here than it does in Kiev. Much more peaceful. I mean, we feel like a, a thousand miles. Russian apology, I see. Yeah, if you're a fucking idiot, you would see that as Russian apologia. No, I'm saying, like, they're gonna go scorched earth soon, I, I think. And it's not good. Motherfuckers will, like, wait for me to say anything to be like, Oh, you're apologizing for Russia, I think. You're, you're definitely apologizing for Russia, I think. That's what you're doing. Yeah, hassle, hassle, hassle. When is so? When is correcting misinformation of Russian apologia? Uh, they consider that Russian apologia because, like, right now it's a it's a all or nothing. Like, it, it's it, it's similar to like Iraq. You're you're with the terrorists. Like, you're siding with the terrorists. You're siding with the terrorists. Any anything you say, you're siding with the other side. Saying it's good. What they're doing is good. It's just like, it's happened before. Can you end the video? Wait, what? No, I'm not going to end the video. The only thing I'm going to end is a ad-free experience for you because it's the top of the hour and I forgot to run the top of the hour ad break. Because at the top of the hour, there's a 60 second ad break. You no longer want to see those ads. You want to end the ad at the top of the hour. Then all you need to do is subscribe. You can do that for $5 so or for free with a Twitch Prime. Work, love, love, love your dedication. Or... Or if you're lucky, you can get gifted a sub. Here's the woman at break now. Not your best. I mean, yeah, not my best. Not my worst either. Away from the war, and in a sense we are. Sassy Oliver. These little villages near in the pretty mountains of the Carpathian region. Well, what do you reckon, Johnny? Yeah, I was here for Drago, Drago brought the, the ski resorts. And yeah, the Carpathian people are tough people. So. We're gonna be good. Yeah. 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 
А, из да, Фиджи или где-то. Да, 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 да. Да, да, да. Я помню ему, да. They did destroy the one airport cutting off international travel. I think, par yeah, I mean, that was a that was a strategic decision. That's like still not, I don't think airports are considered to be, I guess airports you could consider to be infrastructure. It is infrastructure, but like, you can fly planes out of it too. I mean, they've also, they've also blown up uh, residential buildings too. Like they've hit residential buildings on, uh, on what I assume is accident, uh, but you'll you'll know the difference between a shock and awe style bombing campaign when it happens. The closest I've seen thus far is the uh, the cluster uh, munitions that that they dumped on on Kharkiv uh, earlier today. I think I haven't seen the the full video, but all right, that that is. That's more about that's that's closer to fucking shock and awe. Like if they're shelling indiscriminately, then then you've then sheep you've reached that ran, point. Sheep ran, sheep ran, sheep ran. You don't want to? I don't want to what? Хорошо, буду сто процент. Все будет хорошо здесь. Не переживайте. Удачи, слава Украине. There's pictures of missiles stuck in the in the road, so you are wrong. <sighs> You'll know when you see it, okay? I'm not defending Russia here. It's completely unacceptable. Any kind of bombing is any kind of bombing is completely unacceptable. Any invasion is completely unacceptable. But there's a difference between like actively uh indiscriminately striking civilian territories versus uh like having misfires and oh, why am I fucking why am I? I'm getting stun locked again. Let's continue. Well, we made it on the Refugee Express. The cats, the dogs, the babies, the children, the mums, the dads, the babushkas, the jedushkas, Johnny, me. We've made it. For anyone who still has, uh, who, who who still has a hard time comprehending what I'm saying about um, Russia's invasion thus far, uh, you can watch my latest YouTube video where I had a conversation yesterday with Chelsea Manning, so many questionable people in the service. who Def, some used to be stuff. a uh, analyst for. Uh, the Department of Defense and uh, was tortured by the American military uh, for uh, leaking America's war crimes. She is an American hero and very knowledgeable on this sort of stuff. So, you know, we, we had a conversation about like Russia's military failure thus far and what may happen. And uh, in that, I kind of describe the differences between what's going on now and what might happen in the future. Yep. Ushgorod, brad. Da, Ushgorod. You travel in style when you try and escape Ukraine. Check this out, a real Soviet elektrichka. Wow. What a train this is. This is um, unchanged in Soviet times, this train. Wow, look at it. Love you. Well, although we not cross the border into Hungary yet, yeah, it already feels like we're there. This part of Ukraine was taken from Hungary by the Soviet Union. And the houses that we're passing, the villages, the people, the language here in Ukraine and this part of Ukraine is Hungarian. The signposts are all written in Hungarian. It shows you just how varied Ukraine is. Wow, look at it. Yeah. 
So we've had a change of plan. We've come to the town of Chop on the border with Hungary. Let's go and see if we can get across the border. See what the queues are like, or if maybe none at all. Wow, look. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Wow, check it out. So we're queuing up here to buy a ticket across the border on the train, and then after we bought the ticket, we queue up. Well, later on today, at the um, exit gate, basically here, and um, yeah, cross into Hungary. Fingers crossed. And these are all the refugees that are leaving Ukraine, going to Hungary. Look, how many people are here? A lot of people. You realise you are also a refugee now. Right? I'm a refugee. Yeah, I'm officially a refugee. Going back to um, well, I'm going back to a comfortable life in Prague, so I can't complain too much. But, uh, you know, I don't know what's happening to some of the other people that are leaving everything behind. Do you remember when Bob was forced to apologize in Chechnya, like to the country, right? Одну да Венгрии, пожалуйста, один билет. Паспорт вам нужен? Спасибо. Wow, got our ticket to Hungary. There are like fights breaking out. Pretty insensitive to be filming refugees escaping a war, don't you think? What do you mean? That's like 98% of the fucking media coverage right now. It's to show you the fucking gruesome nature of war and the human toll and the consequences. And for all of his like, you know, shady background and all this other shit, like I think the Baldy does a pretty bald and bankrupt does a pretty good job of uh fucking showcasing the humanity. And the front by the at the front of the queue, people trying to get in, people desperate to leave Ukraine basically. Hundreds of people now in this hall just filling up in this queue to get out of here. <laughs> They've opened the doors again. Let's see if we get in. Wow. It's going to be a struggle. Coming, right? Wait, where is it? Two months past nine month brain rock bed pillar. Oh, it's just like, oh, is that the only photo? Some of the photos that he took, we I skipped it. There was. The rest of the slideshow is fine. I want to make sure there's another photo from the slideshow. Thanks for running the best daycare on Twitch. As high. <sighs> yeah. War crime criminal court live. The International Criminal Court to open probe into possible war crimes in Ukraine. Wait, that's this is earlier. It's not live. It ended already. Chief Prosecutor of the International Criminal Court will open an investigation into possible war crimes and crimes against